All right, cool. So let's do a demo. I'm going to show you how I stream from my mobile rig directly to OBS using the Zynap Super Stream System. And uh, it's actually super mega easy, but I think it helps to see it uh, as I use it. All right, cool. So I've got my phone running here. It's got the uh, microphone on it just for that extra lovely sound. And I'm going to go ahead and start up the RTMP stream. And so I'm using an Android, so I'll pretty much just click on the RTMP server, dial in my IP address. This is the IP address of the Super Stream system, and uh, click go. And both the downloadable version and the cloud version will work for this. I prefer the cloud version uh, for this kind of stuff. Uh, it makes more sense when you're out and about. I can't click it because the phone mount is, is blocking it. <laughs> okay, wait. there we go. So I click OK, I'm going 720, uh, 30 FPS, so now it starts streaming, and uh, boom, it just appears, wow. Appears, wow. Okay, there we go, so now it appears, and boom, it just appears, wow. Okay, just so we don't get any echo, uh, I'll switch to the mobile microphone, and there it is. Now, of course, the mobile microphone is not as good because I've got my uh, sound system right there, and I've got the AT2020. So when you hear them side by side, of course, it doesn't sound as good, right? Uh, but now we're completely mobile, so we can go on the run. And I could pretty much leave my house, go drive somewhere, take the stream with me. And the stream is still live on OBS, right? Which means you get to use all the OBS overlays, the alerts, everything is just completely like it normally is on OBS. That's a huge advantage over uh, all of the mobile streams that are going on right now on Twitch. Uh, the alerts, the overlays are very limited. Why not just use OBS? That's my idea anyway. So, uh, and in terms of like the bandwidth and stuff that you use, you know, you, that's completely configurable. You can use a low bandwidth if you don't have much mobile data. Uh, if you're using Wi-Fi, you can use a huge uh, bit rate so everything comes through nice and clear. And uh, all right, let's switch it back now. Okay, let's say that uh, we went mobile, but now we're back and ready to get back to the stream. Uh, I can just put this, I can stop the mobile part. So uh, the you know the mobile stream is over and we're back uh, here uh, on OBS and uh, we never had to stop or restart the stream. It's just one continuous stream without interruption. So there's a quick demo. If you guys have more questions, just let me know. Uh, I love setting this kind of stuff up. I'd love to set one up for you. Cheers. Also, uh, what I've got on here is a. Uh, Rode microphone. These are pretty cool. And uh, this is the Cam Caddy Scorpion. There's a little scorpion right there. You can actually set this down on a tabletop. And uh, the microphone, it's, it's optional. It's not needed. It adds a little more directionality for noise reduction, I think, which is good. But honestly, the built-in microphone on most phones is really pretty good. It's just very sensitive. This thing is actually needed because any little wind or breeze can create that wind noise. Here's a battery. You're gonna need a battery for long streams. This one right here for longer streams, this one is RAV Power. And you can find a link to all of this stuff on my website. I'll make sure to leave a link for that. But uh, I like this one. This one, these are only about 20, 25 bucks. You'll find them on sale on Amazon. Uh, they're not very expensive, but they last a long time and they'll charge your phone really, really fast. So you could probably go all day with one of these, but I'd get two just in case. Here's a smaller one. It's much lighter and smaller. And uh, this is just kind of just in case, but pretty compact. It's lightweight. It's small and it'll fit in a backpack. Although the idea is let's not go to backpacks if we can help it. Let's keep it really lightweight and efficient. All right, there you go.